So students, in last class now we can see some problems on form underwriting, either gross liability basis, how to treat, how to do the sums. That is what six marks. In this class, we'll see some more new adjustment called form underwriting. Hope you remember the first class. So form underwriting is nothing but underwriters or underwriting agreement makes some definite commitment of shares by the underwriters irrespective of number of shares subscribed by the public. That is what we call it as firm underwriting. So while calculations of net liability of the underwriters, if the question gives the information about firm underwriting, how you treat, that is very very important. See only three conditions it will come. See in the, in the question, if they have given firm underwriting, if no other information is not given, you can consider it as firm underwriting on par with unmarred applications. So what are the unmarred applications in the question that they have given? For that you just add uh, unmarred, you just add form underwriting. So in the, if they specifically given treat as unmarred applications, no issues. So form underwriting treat as on par with unmarred applications. And third one, if they specifically given treat form underwriting as a marred applications. So when you consider the marred application, for that you should add firm underwriting. So Major, majorly two, two possibilities may happen. One, firm underwriting on par with unmarred applications. So firm underwriting on par with marked applications. Hope you remember the remaining uh, terminologies. Number of shares applied with the public, that is what you call it as public subscription. That is what you call it as public subscription or public subscription. And if they have given marked information in the question, so marred applications, you can treat as marred applications. From that, we can find out unmarred applications. So, total subscription, marred applications, unmarred applications, gross liability, along with we try to learn in this class firm underwriting. So, only two possibilities one, firm underwriting is considered as unmarred application, one, firm underwriting is considered as a marred applications. So, let us start the question. Uh, a company issued 1 lakh shares. That means a company overall like 1 lakh shares issue. Made. The, these shares are written as follows. So X60,000, Y25,000, Z15,000. That means this is what you call it as gross liability. So number of shares allotted to the each underwriter. That means it is gross liability. So X, Y is a gross liability. already. Then in addition, there is a firm underwriting. So in the question, they have given firm underwriting very clearly. X 8,000 shares, Y 3,000 shares, Z 10,000 shares. Total subscription including the firm underwriting was 71,000 shares. And the forms of market forms are included in the following as the market forms. X 10,000 shares, Y 20,000 shares, Z 5,000 shares. So you can observe Total subscription including the form underwriting was 71,000. No further information is given in the question. We can consider it as uh, form underwriting treat as unmarred applications. So we should know no further calculations is required because total subscription included the form underwriting. If suppose, mark mark, if it is not included the form underwriting, if you treat as unmarred applications, we should add it back to the total subscription of marred applications. So in the question, total subscription including the firm underwriting was 71,000. So there is no point of adding firm underwriting again because already included in the total subscription. So what is the total subscription here? 71,000 shares. Total subscription including the firm underwriting was 71,000 shares. Less marked applications. So look at the marked applications. X 10,000 shares, Y 20,000 shares. Z 5000 shares. Overall, it will be targeted 5000 shares. So, what we will get? Total unmarked applications. Total unmarked applications that we will get. Thirty-six thousand shares from unmarked application. Thirty-six thousand shares. So problem only form underwriting. Is there 
So there is no further information is given regarding the form underwriting. So we can consider it as form underwriting iterated on par with unmarred applications. So because at the same time in our note mark poly total subscription including the form underwriting and the code then I'm not going to add one city in in case total subscription excluding the form underwriting and the other other time we should add public subscribe shares plus form underwriting then less marred applications will get total unmarred applications so uh, applied condition one here we can treat firm underwriting as unmarred par with unmarred applications so now last class new calculator format same it's simple so in the same question game firm underwriting quarter a firm underwriting either we should treat as unmarred applications or marred applications if you treat as marred applications you marred applications ka formal rating add martivi if you treat as unmarred applications total subscription ka formal rating add martivi so remaining will become the total format will become same again so in the question they have directly given total subscription including the form underwriting there is no point of adding again to that so total subscription including form underwriting is 71000 less total marred applications consisting consisting of x y z x plus y plus z so less you should get unmarred applications is 36000 here total unmarred applications is 36000 this is the first working note that we find out this is the first working note that we find out so let's start the sum now so we already calculated the unmarred applications here and we'll start the sum so first you should take the gross liability because gross liability of the country what are the shares allotted to the underwriters look at the question we can allotted the shares underwritten as follows x 60,000 y 25,000 x 60,000 y 25,000 and z 15,000 shares so make total it will be 1 lakh So what are the shares allotted to the underwriters? Other than that, gross liability. So first one, next less unmarked applications. Less unmarked applications in gross liability ratio less unmarred applications in gross liability ratio so gross liability ratio 60,000 is to 25,000 is to 15,000 so three zeros common again cancel money again 60 25 15 uh, you can take five table to be easy to simplify five threes are five fives are 5 12s are so 12 is to 5 is to 3 total it will be 20 so 20 is the base denominator so apportionment not like 20 base denominator for x 12 divided by 20 for y 5 divided by 20 for z 3 divided by 20 so unmarred application already calculate maadi dina working note 1 only is to 36000 so just calculate the share of x now how do you calculate like a previous sum same use calculator for time being I'm just directly selling the answer so 12 uh, 36,000 into 12 divided by 20 uh, you can calculate for x 36,000 into 12 divided by 20 you can get 21,600 21,600 Similarly, you can do for y also 36,000 into 5 divided by 20. 5 divided by 20, you will get 9,000. Then again, similarly for z, 36,000 into 3 divided by 20, you will get 5,400. So total 
36,000. Total 36,000. So we'll get the further balance. So that we apportion it on the basis of grass liability ratio. First, grass liability ratio is not only. This ratio is the unmanned applications na x, y, z ke distribute. Maari. It will get the balance. 60,000 minus 21,600 will get 38,400. 25,000 minus 9,000 it will get 16,000. Similarly, 15,000 minus 5,400 it will get 9,600. 1 lakh minus 736,000 it will get 64,000. So, same format continue on once unmarked applications less marked, that will next change to be less marked applications. So, marked applications, look back to the question again. Question is, you the marked applications. Direct to x 10,000, y 20,000, and z 5,000. So negative balance and bandila, so all positive figures. Directly you can go for mod applications. X 10,000. Y 20,000. And Z 5,000. So total 35,000. So 38,000 minus. 400 minus 10,000, 28,400, 16,000 minus 20,000, here you will get negative balance, 4,000 minus 4,000, 9,600 minus 5,000, 4,600, uh, 64,000 minus 35,000, you will get difference uh, 29,000, So, in the surplus, uh, negative balance is only. Why negative balance is That is what we call it as surplus. So, our surplus is in Marthi. If you get any surplus over here or here, that will distribute to the remaining partners in the grass liability ratio. So, balance is surplus of y distribute to the remaining partners and y surplus is Negative balance nothing but surplus. So in 4000 surplus 9 marthi, remaining x and y ke we distribute marthi with the grass liability ratio. Less surplus of y distributed to x and y. In the grass liability ratio. Surplus of y distributed to x and y in the grass liability ratio. Yesterday, 4000. That means x ratio will not needed. So, remaining uh, uh, what is the ratio of 12? Uh, x 12 and uh, z is 3. So, total 15. So, 4000 into 12 divided by 15. 4000 into 12 divided by 15, you will get 3200. So, the distribute mark the way, so full cancel agar nil barate, so get plus 4000. And uh, for z, 4000 into 3 by 15, you will get 800. So, in, whenever now surplus distribute Martha by Kare, total economy in no amount bearing because we are adjusting the negative balance here only. So further you will get any negative balance called as balance or we call it as net liability. So 
so net liability 28,400 minus 3,200 25, 200, 4,600 minus 800 3,800 So it, it carry forward to the So till here we can do regularly for all problems and previous problems also so whenever question is firm underwriting, whatever might be, if you can treat as on par with unmarred applications or treat as a marred applications, no problem, you should add here. Add firm underwriting. So firm underwriting question you can take the same. Firm underwriting of X, 8000. Firm underwriting of Y, 3000. Firm underwriting of Z, look at the question, 10,000. So total, 11 plus 10, 21,000. So you add money, you will get total liability. Twenty-five thousand two hundred plus eight thousand, thirty-three thousand two hundred, three thousand, thirteen thousand eight hundred days are three thousand eight hundred plus ten thousand, twenty-nine plus thousand plus twenty one thousand, fifty thousand. So this total is equal to the combination of all this total liability. So whenever Firm underwriting put there, whatever calculations may be treated, treated as on par with unmarred applications or on par with marred applications. After calculating the net liability of the firm, you can add firm underwriting, you can get the total liability. You can expect even 40 marks questions, you can just do the two tables. One, you can start with firm underwriting treated as on par with unmarred applications, you can treat as on par with marked applications. So, I can explain again just to go through it. First, we can classify how to treat the firm underwriting. Either you should treat with on par with unmarred applications or marred applications. In the absence of any information in the question, you can treat as on par with unmarred applications. So, in that time, what is the total subscription in the question? For that, you should add firm underwriting. In case, in the question itself, they have given Total subscription including firm underwriting, you can directly take the final value. Less marred applications of X, Y, Z, you can get unmarred applications. So once you get the unmarred applications, then you start doing the sum. Calculations uh, showing the debt liability of the underwritings. First step, gross liability of the underwriters. That the how much of shares allotted to the each underwriter. Then less unmarred applications. What we calculated here. Unmarred applications, other than a grass liability ratio simplify one to distribute money. Less unmarred applications in the grass liability ratio. Then you can get the balance. Any of a negative figure that you'll get here, distribute to the remaining partners. No negative figure, directly we go with less marked applications. So marred applications and less marked account, we can get the balance of 4000 negative figure. Monthly. That is what you call it a surplus. So surplus to distribute to the remaining partners in the gross liability ratio. So fourth one distributed to X and Y, X or X and Z in their gross liability ratio. So then you will get no further negative balance. We can call it as net liability. So whatever the treatment by me, at last you should add firm and writing, you will get a total liability.